very good morning to you. Thank you, Mrs. H. And I hope you're having a nice weekend. Uh, Sunday. What would you say? Halfway through. First thing, Sunday morning. Halfway through, maybe. <laughs> anyway, simple products with a not so simple blade. And what I mean, but I'll explain. <clears throat> We're going to use the Edwin Jagger DE89L, which means lined lined handle this is the first Edwin Jagger razor I ever bought I think it's the first decent razor yeah apart from boots the chemist um, things like that this was the first decent razor I ever bought nice um, three-piece non-adjustable now what I was going to say not so the blade right I'm using a vintage British blade and I haven't used this for a while and some of you may know see them dots there's actually nine dots there and uh, this will be its tenth use I think I've only ever shaved once before with a blade of tenth with with the ten uses I can't remember what, which one it was now good grief I should remember that I probably marked it down in the book in there, but uh, I've only ever done it once before. So here's the, here's the, that's what the British blade looks like. The, made in England. So we'll see. I have got another um, vintage uh, Wilkinson sword there. Which I'll, if this is not good, I'll swap it out. But a uh, slight overhang to be aware of, which you can hear. Now, soap. Barbus. Made in Slovakia. Barbus. I've used it many times. Barbus shaving soap. It's a lovely scent. It comes with a double lid. Had this a few years now. Nice fit as well. It's a very thick fudge type texture lovely um, and what I've done I because of the brush I'm using today I need a I'm using one of the largest bowls I've got that's the fine and I've pressed a thumbnail size down in the base there so what's the brush is going to be this one it's the rainbow uh, the Aki 26 millimeter rainbow synthetic with the uh, they seem to change the name of the knot because when I bought this it was called a something uh, I can't remember chemical or some funny name and then it's uh, I think it's changed again now to something else but uh, wet but not dripping and almost immediately we got try and keep it in a bowl pole okay Yeah, hope you're having a nice weekend. We've been promised, maybe, they're not 100% sure. It's been getting colder here, you see, the, the air. And um, we could be getting um, some snow next this next week. But they're not sure yet because of the jet streams all over the place or something. But they have an idea, but... Um, Someone somewhere in the UK is going to cop some snow, probably the north of Scotland, definitely. So, but uh, look at this. Maybe Snowdonia here. Maybe us. I don't know. It might be a bad snowstorm. We don't know. But so, yeah, that is beautiful. A thumbnail size and it's done all that. And it's a big brush, this. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Masterpiece there. Okay, that'll do. I will wet the face. I've had a haircut. About time, they say. Some people always ask me, "What do you what do you use on your hair?" I use the one of these um, rechargeable clippers. I started when it was lockdown. 2020 was it and uh, everywhere was shut so I had to learn 
how to do it myself. So I use a number two just on the back there, grade number two, and then grade three all over. And then Mrs. H, bless her, does the back with no, no grade on it, just, and uh, this worked for me, it's, you know, <laughs> it works for me. Right. And people have said, oh, you want to do the old, you can do it the back yourself, use a mirror. I can't do it. Well, no, that's a lie. I can do it, but it wouldn't be straight. Yeah, you can buy a, a gadget, actually, you put around your neck or something. And it's quicker and uh, no cost for me to ask. This is eight, really. It takes, well, not 30 seconds. Huh? Right, lovely scent. A light, like refreshing scent, I'd call that. Nice, uh, soapy, clean, clean scent. Now we'll uh, heat up the Edwin Jagger with the British Wilkinson Sword Blade 10th use. Here we go. So far, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Any plans for a shave today? Let me know please, meal, what meal, or if you're going out you won't know maybe, but uh, Thank you again for all the cup cut, it's warm in here, the heat, oh the heat, <laughs> don't usually have that on. Um, what are you going to say? Yeah, thank you for all the comments I was going to say. And they're letting me know what you're having. It's always uh, nice to read. Amazing. All right. Good slickness. Good slickness. Scent strength. Uh, stronger in the puck. When you lather it, you can still smell it. So I'd say it's a, a six out of ten in the puck. On the face, it goes to about four, four and a half. Um, lovely scent, as I say. It's a refreshing, clean scent. Nice soft brush if you like a larger brush, larger knot. 26 millimeter. Meal of the day, what's the meal of the day? Well, today is going to be a roast lamb. Um, had quite a good offer in the shop on what we call a shoulder of lamb or half a shoulder of lamb, which is only sort of that big. Big enough though, and uh, I will put some the herb rosemary on it, and tie that on, season it, roast it, cross the grain. Though. 
so far blade good uh, season that roast it nice and slow and I turn it up at the end so all the fat goes crispy lovely because when we were children oh here we go when we don't laugh when you're doing your moustache <laughs> we always used to sort of plead with each other can I have the end bits the crispy bits of the meat you know, beef or pork lamb anything yeah and then I'm doing some roast potatoes Maris Piper potatoes why do I, I <laughs> Go into the details of names and anyway I've started so I'll finish Manus Piper potatoes which I'll um, boil for about 10 minutes and then oh, this is lovely take them out ruffle them up in a colander or in the pan depends and then I'll put them in some preheated goose fat in the oven and then they sizzle away and then baste them and leave them there and then just check on them every 10-15 minutes and they're ready when they are golden brown and crispy and fluffy on the inside and then um, what um oh broccoli i've got broccoli carrots and gravy lots of gravy but i've got on the important for me this on the lamb mint sauce lovely and uh, after cooking the lamb leave it rest for 10 minutes and uh, take the rosemary off a little twig of rosemary and carve away Good slickness, blades good. Didn't rinse my face then, did I? This is lovely. So you don't. I put a thumbnail size in there. As I say, getting on a bit. This a few years old. And uh, that second lid is quite airtight and it's kept it like the day, well the day I had it and it was a gift and it's um, everything lovely just keeps um, kept it sort of what can we say kept its youth <laughs> Absolutely stunning blade. If you like, as I've said this many times when I use this, if you like Wilkinson sword blades, thank you. Have you tried one of the vintage, the British ones? If you haven't, I can highly recommend. Um, but it's getting them, you see. Uh, maybe in the forums or in the Facebook group somebody has some or sells some maybe eBay it's a I think that's the best way sometimes you just have to look and look and look over weeks and months and then all of a sudden when you see them go for it but then again what's the cost I don't know the Sometimes I go for silly money. But what I'm going to say is if you like Wilkinson Sword, because for me personally, I find I like them all, the modern ones, India, is it Germany? But the British ones just feel smoother somehow. Mm. 
Let me just... And even the blades lasted. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, I love that. And the reason you can hear it cutting so much is look at the angle. Because I'm going in a completely different... You know, normally we're down, across and up and things like that. But because here, for me anyway it grows in all sorts of ways so I go all sorts of ways on this pass and this gets it quite close and quite clean but the addiction to get this closeness and this cleanliness and smoothness it uh, can cost you with a few nicks and cuts you see but, which isn't ideal but we're always striving for this perfection So much so, sometimes it makes it imperfect. I cut some next. <laughs> oh, you do talk utter nonsense sometimes. Thank you, sir. Hmm. That is it. Perfect. Right. Ice water rinse. Yeah, looking forward to lunch today. Um, I'm not sure what time I'll do it for because that depends. That depends if we nip out to a local shop, which we sometimes do. Or, um, and if we do, I'll, I'll cook it for, for the evening meal, sort of dinner. Not that you're bothered, Thayer's really. <laughs> Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Good. And we're going to use the Barbus um, Prestige Man aftershave. This is nice. Oh yes, yeah, lovely this. Not a sting or nothing. Beautiful. Oh yeah, my dad would like this. It's one of them aftershaves, it's... The only way I can describe it, if I can't describe a scent, it's one of those where you smell it and you... If I smelt this out now, go... That's nice. And now, because of my interest in shaving and scents, 
I would ask, excuse me, sir, what, uh, do you mind me asking what you're wearing? It smells nice, you know. And so far, they haven't got the wrong idea. Oh, sorry, you're going to use a... Uh, I thought then we went filming and I thought you were here, actually here, and you could see what I was using, but you can't, can you? Unless I show you. L'Oreal Men Expert, Nivea Sensitive. Thank you. Soothing Birch Sap Post Shave Balm there. Good stuff. A little dab will do you. And then I shall jibber jabber, babble, waffle, no more. <laughs> you can you can have your <laughs> weekend back. But I'm most grateful for, for you spending the time with me. Thank you. So we've used the Edwin Jagger DE89L lined handle. Um, standard aggression, beautiful razor, very inexpensive for the quality it is. British made, of course. British blade, uh, Wilkinson sword, 10th use, and that felt, well, look, beautiful, smooth. Just, what can you say? Absolutely stunning. Barber's shaving soap, um, very nice scent, easy to lather, good slickness. And um, very fresh, clean scent. Really enjoyed that. The fine lather bowl, the Yaki 26mm synthetic rainbow handled brush. Nice. Um, water we rinsed with, and then we've used Thayer's cucumber, which hazel. We've used the Barbus Prestige Man aftershave, and then of course the L'Oreal Birch Sap, um, soothing birch sap post shave balm. And that's it, we're ready to go and start cooking or shopping, whatever we're doing first. So have a great weekend, thanks again for your support, for being there, for your comments, for everything. Really, really appreciate it and thank you for she who must be obeyed, always. Thank you. Thank you, Mum. Uh, have a great weekend, look after yourselves. <laughs> I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave, look forward to it. All the best and bye-bye.